I was sat in. Um, in a couple of weeks' time, I'm going to a woodworking or well, turning exhibition, and there's going to be three competitions, three categories, and one of them is a goblet turned from a 3.5 square, uh, 3.5 inch square piece of timber by six inches long. So I want to make an entry for that competition. I've taken some more of this uh, spotted gun that I used in the uh, bedside table project and first thing I want to do is cut a appropriate uh, size blank that I can mount on the lathe and because I've only got a face plate I want to cut it oversized so it's going to be six inches long finished but I want to cut this blank maybe an inch or an inch and a half longer than I need it so that when I attach it onto the face plate and screw in I'll be able to just part off at six inches without any uh, screw holes in the face plate so first things first cut this on the table saw to the right size Right, so that's the blank cut and I've marked up the centres both sides it's 2.5 inches square so it's a little bit smaller than the maximum size it can be and what you'll, you'll see that's 6 inches there and then this here is the waist that I'm going to screw into um, notice that I've made a, a template, design template that I'm going to follow you know a small bead and that's the shape of the cup and I want to have one of my signature entrapped rings uh, maybe two, one or two entrapped rings up and down here, it needs to be something special if I'm going to come anywhere close to winning this competition um, so yeah now I just need to stick on face plate and true it up and now that <coughs> that blanks on the lathe and the face plate uh, I'm just going to take the roughing gouge and true it up piece rounded um, I can take my template um, a little bit smaller than I wanted and using a pencil I will in fact I'll just put the camera down so you can see I'm just going to put the pencil up to the transition points. So where a new bead or thickness of the material starts, I'm just putting a little mark. Uh, and then, what I do is I uh, offer the pencil up to that mark and just quickly turn the lathe on and off and that makes a mark all the way around the wood there you can see. it's not quite round there but and then I do that on all of the marks right so I've um, I've cut out the the cup and before I turn the stem I want to turn my attention to hollowing out the cup now because if I turn the stem and it's really thin that's not going to be strong enough to support the pressure of me hollowing it out so I'm going to go ahead take a gouge and hollow the cup out now alright so this, uh, this cup's been hollowed and I've also completed the rest of the goblet. The reason why I didn't film myself doing that is because the first one I made broke and I was absolutely gutted. I tried to uh, add detail to that bead whilst the stem, stem was too thin. Um, 
so I've quickly, like in the last half an hour, just made this second one. Um, yeah, I've hollowed it out. I've formed two nice little half beads at the top or bottom of the cup. Um, formed this captive ring and just added detail to the bottom and now I'm going to part it off about somewhere around there. I'm just going to have to finish that bottom off now and then uh, and then I'll part it off and then we'll be well first I'm going to sand it and finish it obviously on the lathe and then I'll part it off and then it'll be finished so let's do that sanding now that I've finished sanding the goblet I want to get all of the dust off the piece before I finish it so I'm just gonna turn Henry on take a lint-free cloth and just just rub off the whole piece okay um, before I parted it off I gave it a few coats of um, spray on wax I turned the lathe speed down and just buffed it off with a clean rag uh, it had three coats of that and then I gave it um, some beeswax and it's quite a nice looking goblet it's the first one I've ever made um, and yeah I'm going to enter it into the wood turning exhibition competition that I'm going to in two weeks time I don't think it'll win but you know it's just uh, nearly dropped the camera it's just uh, yeah it'll just be good to enter and who knows so uh, thanks for watching, hope you found it useful in some way and I will talk to you later.